is accused of pinning her mother against a garage wall, killing her. Police released body cam footage of 23-year-old Anna Millette driving off after that crash and then herding two police officers and starting a chase. We're told this is not the first time she's hit someone with her car. Alexis Martin has more. Behind me is where police say Anna Millette drove through the back of her home, killing her mother. On Saturday night, I spoke with neighbors who said this isn't the first time they saw Millette hitting someone with a car. They say a few years ago she hit her boyfriend with a car. Today, I spoke with that boyfriend who confirmed she has hit him with a car. However, he says he doesn't blame her. She wasn't herself, really. Like she, her, her mental health was just bad. It wasn't really... I didn't take it to heart too much. Timothy Escobar says two years ago, Anna Millette hit him with a car. I mean, I just, I did get some stitches on my face. Uh, and that's about it. They just kind of stitched me up real good. Miami Township Police tell us Saturday morning, 23-year-old Anna Millette pinned her mother against the garage wall with a car. Police say the crash killed 64-year-old Joyce Millette and that Anna then drove off from the scene, injuring two officers and leading them on a chase. Police released body cam footage, and the video may be difficult for some people to watch. The chase came to an end when Millette crashed her car on I-275 near the Loveland exit. Police say they tased her and she was taken to the hospital with injuries from the crash. Court documents show she pled guilty when she hit Escobar and was released from jail on shock probation July 6, 2023. She was out of jail for less than a year before she allegedly hit and killed her mother on Saturday. Escobar says Anna struggles with mental health. He says her mother tried to get her help. Her mom tried admitting her to the mental hospital a couple, a bunch of times, but they quit taking her. And when there's clearly something wrong, she's seeing stuff and hearing stuff. Escobar says he spoke with her the night before she allegedly killed her mom. And did you notice anything was off? No, I just, I mean, she, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, she definitely something off. She's, I mean, she's been off for the past two months. Escobar says if Millette would have had proper treatment for her mental health, her mom might still be alive. No, it didn't have to happen at all. Like, no, definitely not. Shouldn't happen. Escobar says anybody who knows Anna would know what happened on Saturday is not who she really is. She's not a bad person. Just, I don't know. Mental health is a bad thing. He's lost it. We've reached out to police to see if she's still in the hospital and haven't heard back. Police tell us that she's facing murder and felonious assault charges. In Loveland, Alexis Martin, Fox 19 Now.